Hello my loves, welcome back to Life and Dare. Today, let's plan for 2023. So this will be an interactive planning video where I'll share some prompts and give you some time to pause and plan along with me. The prompts are based off of the prompts in the Artist of Life workbook. So make sure you check this out if you haven't already. If you have the workbook, you can plan along with this video, but if you don't have the workbook, that's fine. Feel free to plan it in your own notebook or whatever note-taking device. So another thing is this is the second part in our new year planning series. We had another video that I posted for reflecting on 2022. So make sure you do that before you begin planning for 2023. I'll link that video down below. Towards the end, I'm going to share a couple different prompts that aren't in the workbook. So even if you have the workbook, you'll get something a little bit new through this video, just because I want to give you guys a slightly different angle for planning your year. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you click that bell down below so you're notified of all my new videos on personal growth and lifestyle design. We're all going to create our dream lives in the new year and on and on. All right, let's get to planning. So the first prompt is, what is my theme for 2023? So your theme is the all-encompassing type of energy that you want your year to represent or that you want to invite into your year. So if you want to push yourself out there to be bold and be courageous, that could be your theme. If you want to take some time to go slower and heal, then that could be your theme. Your theme is really what you want to give yourself and what you want your year to be about. So my theme for 2022 was nourish. I wanted to nourish my well-being and put my health and wellness above work. So that's essentially what I did this year. And moving into 2023, I haven't completely decided my theme yet. I'm kind of uh, deciding between these three words. The first one is flow, like to operate more in that like zone of flow and creative flow. The second one would be joy, like maybe I just want to focus my year on joy being happy <laughs> and the third one is focus and that theme is you know always kind of being conscious of what I'm aware of and what I'm focusing on because I know that the more you can focus on something the more depth and the more growth you can have in that area still deciding on what my theme should be let me know if you've decided your theme for 2023 comment your theme down below for fun Moving on to the second prompt, how can I embody my theme this year? So it's not enough just to set the theme and forget about it. You want to start brainstorming. How can I start to live out this theme? What can I do? What changes can I make to start to embody this theme? Next question, how do I want to evolve in 2023? What are the ways that you want to grow and change in the next year? Like who do you want to become at the end of next year? Like one year from now, do you want to work on habits? Do you want to work on aspects of your personality? Do you want to let go of, you know, negative traits, negative habits, things that, you know, aren't serving you? This is your space to set the intentions for how you want to grow this year. Next prompt, what do I want to release in 2023? So what are the things that you want to let go of and let them stay in the past? <laughs> are these your bad habits? Are they like mindset related? Are they emotional? Are they beliefs? Are there stories that you believe about yourself that you're ready to let go of because you're ready to create a new story for yourself and create a new version of yourself? So I think what we release is just as important, if not more important than the things that we add to our lives. So it could be anything from like, I wanna release comparing myself to others, or I wanna release caring about what others think of me, or I wanna release this bad habit of eating junk food every night. Um, think of the things that are not serving you in your current life and how good would it feel if you just like erase that from your life. If it feels good, then write it down. This is what I want to release in 2023. Next, it's time to start setting your goals. So ask yourself, what are my main goals for 2023? So take your time on this. Take this space to brainstorm what those goals could be. They don't have to be set in stone right from the moment you write them down. Like your goals are here for you to plan and brainstorm and prioritize. Like, hmm, is this really what I want to do? Or is this more important? This is your space to kind of brainstorm what your main goals could be this year. Limit yourself to like maybe three to five main goals because you don't want to overwhelm yourself with like 
too many things to do because that will scatter your focus and you're not going to be able to see your goals through that way. So you want to be able to really prioritize, hone it down and focus down on what you really want to accomplish this year. After you've decided what your main goals for the year are, write next to that goal why you want to achieve that goal and how it relates to you living your dream life. In my philosophy, every goal, every intention or every step you take should be a step closer towards the life that you've always wanted. If it's not taking you in that direction, like why are you doing it, right? So you want to make sure like everything's moving in the right direction and you want to have a good enough why because that's what's going to give you the motivation and the drive and the perseverance to keep going after those goals even when things get hard even when you start to like fall off the wagon and feel lazy and kind of lose your sense like just come back to your why like this is why this goal is important and then you should you know find some new motivation to continue working towards that Moving on to the next prompt, and this is where it starts to differ from what's in the workbook. So the prompt is, what area of my life do I want to focus on first this year? So think of all the areas of your life from your health, career, relationships, personal growth, spirituality, creativity, healing, adventure and travel. They, these are all different aspects of our life. Which one do you want to focus on first? We usually find that some areas are neglected than others or, or maybe you're like really focused on one specific area and that's the area you want to grow the most in this year. It could be like career or it could be like home. You want to remodel your home or reorganize your home. So ask yourself, what is the area that you want to focus on nurturing and growing first? this year. So this is different from what's in the workbook because in the workbook I lay out all these different areas of life and I help you set goals in each area of life and I really love doing that because it helps shine a light on all these different areas a lot of which people forget to even set goals for they don't even think about it they don't think about setting home goals or relationship goals right but what I've also found is when you're setting goals in all areas of life it can be hard to like make progress in each area equally because you're spreading yourself thin if you try to do it all at once. So pick one area that you really care about, that you really want to focus all your energy to grow and nurture and start there. And maybe later in the year you want to like change to a different area or add on a different area, like that's totally fine. I just recommend starting with one so that you have that like laser focus to like make progress. So after you've picked your area that you want to focus on, the next prompt is a follow-up to that. So how do I want to transform myself in this area? Or you can also ask, what do I want this area of my life to look like one year from now? It's kind of like what we did earlier, like how do I want to evolve in 2023? But instead of you, it's this area. Let's shine a spotlight in this area of your life. How do you want it to change? How do you want it to evolve in one year? All right, my loves, that concludes our new year planning session for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Now, the next step would just be to break down your goals and plan them on a quarterly, monthly, weekly, and then daily basis. I've talked about this method. It's how we break it down in the Artist of Life workbook, starting from like the big picture goals to yearly goals to the quarterly and and so on. So that's the best way I've found to tackle big goals in your life and to achieve your dream life is just taking it step by step, one day at a time. And eventually in a year, you'll be like, oh my gosh, so much has changed. So if you want a guided system to plan and execute on all of your goals, definitely check out the Artist of Life workbook. We have a physical and a digital version on our shop, which I'll link here and down below. Make sure you stay tuned for more New Year content coming soon. Sending you so much love and I hope you're enjoying the holiday season. Bye!